Hyofucus, if you want to come on in, have a seat for your divination dose for the threshold between November and December. Here is your scroll made in your name and essence if you want to take a screenshot. So you can scry on your own time and terms. Opies, when you're ready, I'm going to close my eyes here. You're welcome to join me, cleansing the palate. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support when you're ready. As always, thank you so much for joining me as we empathically explore and inspire our psyche and psychic senses. Oh, look at this big old spiral of creation. Something feels slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. And then there's like this praying mantis feeling. I don't know, Opie's, if this is like the air of your collective energy or you can resonate on like an individual level. It's like there's a snail. Almost, um, okay, so that's what they are. Thank you, blow torches, like a welding blow torches and this praying mantis feeling with perhaps a dash of, it's like way up there with snake eyes. Like, I don't know, like if, uh, like gambling, but it doesn't feel like the op. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not like the OP energy would or wouldn't gamble. Oh, okay. Thank you. So that's very helpful. Snake eyes in light and dark because there's two sets. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, not my immediate concern. Um, but again, thank you for your patience. There are creatures up here. I don't know if they're birds, <clears throat> excuse me, birds, or they do feel like birds, almost like, um, oh, not, they're yellow, not like Tweety Bird. I suddenly wish I knew like a whole bunch of bird names. Hmm. But they're like a golden bird, like a yellow bird. It, it might be like, it's not a chickadee. No, chickadees are grayish and black out here. Finch. Oh, for heavens and hot dogs. A finch. <laughs> Thank you. Opies. There are finches working with you, as well goldfishes. So I'm seeing both air and water with gold and then this double snake eyes is almost like they're uh, you have a dual perspective in how you're going to approach maybe something something's been slow and steady in the spiral of creation like i'm seeing like this like almost like kneading dough does that make sense or molding clay um I don't know. I don't know what else to, what kind of analogy to use to <clears throat> help that feeling. But you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be clay or uh, dough, but it's just something uh, malleable. And it's uh, maybe it's an idea or something you're thinking about, Opie's, or just something in your collective energy. And it's almost like I can see. If somebody handed you like a, a plop of, of poo, no, no actual poo, but you know what I'm saying? Like just, it's like the OP energy has taken, thank you. Okay. It's like the OP energy has taken collectively or individually different minerals and uh, ingredients of sorts that were kind of useless on their own. Right? And I'm not trying to be nasty, but just for you, maybe if you're resonating, it just didn't have a whole lot of value or use. But you could see the potential as like, uh, I'm seeing like an OP apothecary, like this Ophucus apothecary. Sorry, I feel like my nose is just being like feather dusted. It's a very odd feeling. Um, okay, so there's an Ophucus apothecary. That's what it is. Okay. 
And in this apothecary, so maybe just something in and of its own, it's not that it doesn't have value, but just in the moment it doesn't. And you're like, I don't really need to cure a cold right now. But you still know it's useful for something else always. Okay, let's, maybe it's just a hair floating around my face. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and not get distracted. So the Opies have slowly but surely, and I don't didn't mean to be nasty with taking the poop, but just these little things, right? Like, and there's like a shelf, a ethereal shelf, almost like an akashic apothecary. Does that make sense? If you can, you kind of chugga chugga with me down that rabbit hole or do it down that train of thought, and slowly but surely, Opies. It's like each of you individually have pieces, but you all have access collectively to each other's apothecary because you're working together holistically, of course, through the healings, hauntings and humors, like all those different human and higher self aspects. And then when I see these um, like welding torchy things oh and then I'm seeing that okay so there's some sort of science experiment happening but it's very conscious this isn't willy-nilly it's like the Ophiuchus energy is saying we have many eyes on this there's like some sort of operation this comes up all the time in your readings the sensation that there's I love it I love it that there's just something else in your energy. Okay, but I'm not going to get stuck there. Because this is where you work. Okay, so when I see like these welder Bunsen burner, it's light regardless. Like there's flame. And then in like that science ball, not like a beaker, but you know, like I'm seeing old-fashioned apothecary kind of stuff. And things are mixing from this Akashic Apothecary. And you might have collected something that you're like, well, I don't know why that's on my shelf, like elf on a shelf. That's funny. Opies are still, still such a sense of humor back there. I love it. But it's almost like there's this awareness of also working with your collective and I'm not saying other signs or souls don't necessarily function that way but I, I don't know there's just something with the the Ophiuchus energy that is acutely aware in some regards again it's that secret service it's part of a team even though the agents are all doing their individual tasks missions this that or the other there's still a hub anyway so like and slow and steady and like the kneading of the dough is like putting these things together and then it needs to cook bunsen burner maybe it needs to be welded maybe it needs to be fire kilned or something like that so it doesn't really matter everyone's going to go about it differently and then it all kind of gets into this thing and then it and then it blooms into this S double snake eyes I feel like I want to throw dice is that a thing double snake eyes but it's both light and dark and some sort of balance has been established in harmony and then it's shared out through the finches the finch frequency and I don't know exactly their um like I know them when they're when they're here in my yard seasonally like they're very cheerful and almost fairy tale like so there's something about that frequency and then the gold fishes uh send it out in the in the water okay i'm going to flip it to win it here because i don't want to keep you too too long opies as a in-between threshold like share and subscribe links below to help a gal grow I'm grateful for your awesome attention and awareness and of course, I look forward to your full Rorschach and a reading coming up for December. All right, what do we have here? 
flipping the perspective and adding on some Terra Narco for the Opie Collective. I'm seeing some sort of car. Just a car. And it's protected. Like here's the car. Like I'm, I'm looking at it head on. Here's the car. <clears throat> it's protected and it's protected again. So I don't know maybe if uh, Ophiuchus, you yourself are having, having car issues. You just want to add that. Um, maybe give it a smudge or a sage or, you know, give it a little love. Even though it's machinery, it's still a metal element. Right, because I feel like the Opies understand you're speaking to the elements, coming back to the the science service. You're speaking to the element of it. Okay, uh, Page of Cups. There's there's that torch, flame, Bunsen burner, uh, weldery thing. Okay, and I'm also seeing now the car has transformed into a being. I love that your ink is moving in like real time. And it's carrying not bags, but bags. Like you've gone shopping in this Akashic apothecary because there's levels to it. I'm seeing like a, like a department store with many floors. Strength, yeah, and you can carry this. You can go shopping, um, like those bags. You have to be strong-willed, I think, even to get there to this mall, this multi-dimensional mall. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move down a little bit. I'm seeing uh, pipes. And they're, uh, you know, uh, when you go to some kind of restaurants, Opie's and people leave. I don't know what that term is called decoratively when they leave all, industrial, like it's very industrial like. That's what I'm seeing. The three of pentacles. Don't worry about it if it's upside down. It's not. I swear this card comes up for you guys a lot. Strategy, different, different tools and resources. Like it's just team oriented, even though you're individually, it's like you're looking at this big board of consciousness and, but there is a healing, healing about it because something wants to be born. Now I'm seeing one of those a tomato plants that you can hang upside down or like it's a hanging tomato plant, but the plant grows down and that's what I'm seeing here and then it attracts it attracts other fi other finches okay we're moving on from this deck thank you so much i'm gonna go on over here no we're over here thank you this is really quite fascinating so then it attracts and then those what i saw from the other perspective is snake eyes here it's dropping seeds so loud apologies oh please of light and dark but it's like the ophiuchus collective has the ability that as the seeds from this uh tomato plant as the example is falling and other other people can share from that and receive the seeds but down here it's like um, the other Opies and the other Ophiuchus energies are uh, can come in to, to witness or to see. Now oh, I'm stumbling over my words because it's not my forte. To see the cause and effect, or to see the outcome of your seeds, because they might come and then put it in their apothecary. Do you see what I'm saying? And you as well do this. Okay, we're closing out here for Ophiuchus. If we can have any closing messages. We have here One Ring Circus, Sacred Pool, Follow the Leader. That's not for you over there. Okay. So the One Ring Circus 
in this kneading and molding. That's what that is. Like it's in the circus of it. And then it, you, as you're like molding and doing your thing with your strengths, your science and spirituality strengths, it comes into the state of one and you become, not become, it's like in, in the sacred pool, that's what that card is. Cause it's about the energy of it all. And then it comes to that Bunsen burner glass thing and you can see it bubbling and it goes through the industrial pipes. And it's like, you can watch this all happen as it's clearing and, and doing whatever it's doing. Cause it's well beyond my realm of intellectual knowing. And then it like floods out for other Ophucan, Ophucians to, there's a clock way in there. Sorry, I'm not trying to give you the finger. There's a clock way, way in there. And it's like, and see how all these birds, they, they are birds in there. They, they come to what you've created, this energy you've created, this element you've created. And of course, others. But I'm, it's interesting, I'm hearing like, follow the leader, but you're all leaders and you're all following each other as you require particular elements or are inquisitive about what other Ophiuchians are doing to help heal. There's something about healing personally, but it does feel like, uh, again, individually and collectively, and it all comes back to home. I don't think you're from here is the sensation I'm getting, but it's like you're, you've come here to do work. You've come here to do work and then to go home at some point in time. Does that make sense of you guys? I, I love it. It feels very interesting. And I, I, I have the sensation as well that when some of you may go into this Akashic apothecary, whether it's your own or of like the shared space of other Ophiuchians. It feels like home. It's almost like I can see a bunch of philosophers and scientists and spiritualists and mechanics. Like there are so many different um, networkings of how you're deciding to to help, like which vehicle of being of service to, to this here and now. There's so many. And I'm inclined to say like a Masonic Lodge type thing, but I'm not trying to imply any sort of dark undertakings about that or what we might mythically think of. It just, it, you know what I mean? There's some sort of feeling that uh, there's, there's a task at hand but everybody, every Ophiuchian has different resources and different seeds. And in this lounge and this library and apothec uh, apothecary, it's like a mall. See what I'm saying? Like there's a library, there's an apothecary, there's a lounge, there's, I don't know, maybe you're living in Hogwarts holistically, but Ophiuchians, I'm going to leave it there so I don't take up too, too much of your time. So it's an honor to... Put ink in your name and essence, and thank you for holding space for me to scry. May you receive or release freely, and until next time, thank you.